but now moving towards like, okay, I want to be a little bit more private in my life and, and what everybody like sees. Good morning or afternoon or night. I'm Chelsea. If you're new here, I've been creating videos on this platform for close to 12 years now. Um, it'll be 12 years in a few months. Craziness. But I feel like that gives me a unique perspective having been a child growing up on the internet and sharing a little bit of that side and now my views having a son and how things have really started to shift in my mind. So I would love to open up this conversation. I was editing this video like right now and realized I didn't even do an intro. I literally went straight into it, which is totally fine, but I wanted you to feel welcome. So welcome. And if you're new here, would love if you subscribed. My husband and I um, just recently talked about our new book that's coming out in January called Marriage Minded 10 Ways to Know if you found the one. So if you're dating or engaged or find yourself longing for a spouse one day, if you're single, uh, I just think it's a really great book to prepare yourself for that next step. And there's a lot of conversations we wish we had beforehand before we got married because that season is so short and we didn't want to get too far removed from it and kind of start having our memories fade when it comes to that. We wanted to just specifically equip those who are in the midst of that. That book is for you. We'd love to link it down below and we'll be sharing a lot more content around that soon. But for now, we're gonna talk about kids and views on kids and the internet and YouTube and capturing their life. Um, and there's a lot of thoughts here. There's a lot of things to discuss, but um, this is a kind place. I just want to first and foremost share that because there are a lot of videos like this out there that are very negative, um, but I genuinely just want to know thoughts and want to know people's processes around how we protect our kids. And um, I had a different view probably a year ago than I do now. And I just love that people have grace for myself, but also for yourself as you continue to grow and change is what I wanted to say. And let's go ahead and get into the chat. Oh my bet. Okay. As far as the conversation around um, kids and social media, I'll share a little bit of my perspective growing up on the internet and voluntarily doing that. So I never asked my parents for permission whenever I started my YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, which was once just me. Now it's mostly my husband and I, but that was over 11, almost 12 years ago. Um, my 25th birthday will be in March, so that's a long time of creating content, posting, being very public with my life. And I'm just now into adulthood, realizing the repercussions of putting my life out there so publicly. Um, there's been a lot of blessings, a lot of incredible things, like just getting unique opportunities like I would have never been able to unless I did share my life growing up. But... I think naturally, whenever you have a lot of people speaking into every move that you make and everything that you share and post about, it can distort your view of yourself, of your family, of the way that you even view life. And I very much so thought differently as a kid versus how I do now. Um, but I think I put a lot of pressure on, my on myself as a child to succeed and to do well and to perform and to be successful with views and uh, engagement and just like almost linking myself to what people saw on the internet and thinking that that is where my worth came from. And so now as an adult realizing that all these years I've been getting my, I've been striving for my worth and my value to be outside of Christ, be outside of like the view that my father has of me rather than like <laughs> the way that I've been doing things of just viewing myself as basically what I can do for people, what I can do for others. And as a kid, I would say that can be very, um, damaging if you don't have somebody to help you navigate okay what are these comments what are these views like just to help you process those things so i think even the internet as far as 
what was it, 12 years ago, 11 years ago when I first started, was way different than it is now. It's much more addicting now. There's shorter attention spans. There's so much content out there that has an algorithm that's shifted around everybody's preferences and views and um, political stances and religion and just just so much tailored towards whoever is scrolling on their phone. Whereas when I grew up on it, there was choices and there was random videos that were suggested to you that didn't make sense and you watched them because they were funny and you just had people who genuinely just loved creating content and there wasn't a whole lot of money in it at first. Now everything is just all about that. It feels like um, just very like post about what is going to get you the most views, post about what's going to get you the most success. And that's really unsettling for me when it comes to the view of kids and where I've kind of landed with at least posting about my son is I'll post, you know, joyful moments like on Instagram and different moments. Like the other day I posted us dancing together because I just love recording that from memories and just having that um, because I just think it's, it's fun to share in the joy of like little moments like that. But I see a lot of content out there that's a lot of this is what so and so like our child is going through this is what we're walking through and like almost every single day of their life is recorded and i just wonder i i'm not accusing any family or anybody like i just wonder what does that do to a child's brain um as far as like protecting your child like how much is enough where is like stepping over the line when it comes to this i just I think of the fact that as a child for me, when I was 13, I made the choice to record things and I didn't really know what I was stepping into. I didn't know that a lot of people would see it eventually. I didn't know what I was signing up for. Um, nowadays, I think families know what they're signing up for, that there is a potential for success. There is a potential for a lot of eyes to be on your child and that to really change it could potentially change their view of themselves. Um, and I wonder if that five-year-old or that 10-year-old, when they're 25, would look back and say, man, like, I wish all of these memories were just for me and not for everybody else. Um, this is just kind of like me processing with you guys, but I really genuinely would love to know your thoughts because I know there's a lot of variating opinions, but I think it's really cool to have dialogue around these sort of conversations that aren't like a hill to die on. It's just more of like, let's talk about this. Let's talk about like, what's the best interest for our kids and protecting them and loving them and, and just functioning in our role of being their parents, but doing it in a really wise way, like guarding their heart, guarding their mind, guarding themselves. Um, and I think there's still really fun ways like post about our kids and like post about motherhood, fatherhood, like and include our kids, but not make it the center. Like not everything needs to center around them, if that makes any sense. I'm trying to post now more things that are like helpful for moms because that's who I'm speaking to when it comes to these topics. Um, and the same thing goes with like dating or engagement. I'm gonna po post things that have to do with like relationships and love and like centering it more around those topics rather than here's our all of our life's issues and problems and what's going on with our life. I think for a while I was in a very much like vlogging phase, but now moving towards like, okay, I wanna be a little bit more private in my life and, and what everybody like sees because I just think that is personally healthy for our home and the personalities that live here and the thing that God is doing in our family. Um, but that may be different for your family or for somebody that you know. And I can't imagine what it feels like to be like a family online and have so many different opinions about your family and why you post and why you don't. But I think mostly I err on the side of just being cautious when it comes to kids and really trying to protect um, just everything about them because they're just so innocent and and they have such 
like incredible futures ahead of them and, and so do you. Like even if you're an adult, there's so much ahead for you and for your family and I'm gonna take a pause right now. Okay, I felt like I hadn't taken a breather in a second so went ahead and did that. But if you could just share in the comments maybe the perspective that you have with your family. I don't wanna talk, I don't want to make this video um, a place where people share negative opinions about like other vlogging families or other people who post about their kids online because that is not my heart in this video. It's just more so to have a conversation around like how do you find those discerning um, key points within your kids of like, okay, this is what I'm gonna post, this is what I'm not gonna post, um, this is what I feel good about, this is what I don't feel good about, and like how you got there. I think that sort of process is helpful, but tearing other da others down is not, like, this is not the place for that. As you know, that's not what this channel is about, but I just, I'm grateful that we got to kind of open up this conversation, and I will say there's a lot more things I could add about creating videos and the shifts that have happened in my heart and where I think that this channel is headed and just content and writing and all of that is headed. Um, but I think there's a time for that and it's not right now. But if any of you want to have more of a conversation in this area, DM me on Instagram. I would love to have dialogue about it. I send a lot of audio messages to my followers on Instagram. And I don't even like to say followers because I see you guys more as friends, but I think that would be cool to just kind of like open up conversation around that. And I know today's video was not very like enchanting or highly edited or anything, but I was just sitting here and just processing over the past few days and saying, wow, like if I could sit down or, or map out a whole day in the life and make it super edited and beautiful, I would, but that's just not where I'm at right now. Like I don't even have childcare right now. Hudson, if he was not napping, would be at this tripod, like dragging it down the hallway, probably breaking the camera. And so I figured, let's just have a conversation. And I really appreciate you guys sitting here and, and listening in. And I just value what you think. And I value um, just the different unique lives and situations you guys come from. And um, you're just, welcome here and we're just so grateful to have you so love you guys very much thank you for listening in and i will see you in next week's video Deuces.